This video is for all of my peeps in biology who are having trouble with photosynthesis. I think I can help you out. I'm going to give you a little more material than you learned in class, but I think you'll actually understand it better once I do. So let's get started. Plants need to create glucose for food. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. This means that one of the products of photosynthesis is glucose, C6H12O6. Also remember that we as humans breathe in O2 and give off CO2. Plants do the opposite. They take in CO2 and give off O2. Add those to the formula. Finally, plants need water. Here is the basic formula for photosynthesis. But how do plants get from this to this? They need light, pigments to trap the light, and enzymes to drive the chemical reactions. It gets more complicated than that, however. Creating glucose is so difficult that plants need to do it in two separate steps. We can see from the photosynthesis equation that we have the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen necessary to make glucose. However, actually bonding those elements together will be the second step of photosynthesis. First, we need to create the energy necessary to make those bonds. When I say energy, you should already be thinking of ATP. That's right. The plant needs ATP to create glucose. For reasons that you don't need to understand, it also needs electrons. The plant uses a special molecule called NADPH to carry the electrons. You may get this confused in the next unit with a similar molecule called NADH. Just remember that the P is for photosynthesis. Okay, so the plant needs ATP and NADPH to create glucose. As it turns out, we can make both of these in a single step, the light reactions. This is the first part of photosynthesis, and it involves an input of water. Remember, water is used during the light reactions. Now, the plant rips that water apart into two hydrogens and one oxygen. The oxygen is given off as a waste. Again, remember this. Oxygen is given off during the light reactions. The plant then rips apart the hydrogens into protons and electrons. It gets rid of the protons immediately, while the electrons enter the electron transport chain. Basically, the electrons dance through a bunch of chemical reactions that give off energy. Light is required to start off these chemical reactions, so that is why they are called the light reactions. The energy given off throughout these reactions is used to create ATP. In the last reaction, the electron gets attached to NADPH, the electron carrier. So what does that accomplish? Well, it creates ATP by giving off energy, and the last reaction creates a full electron carrier. Those are the two things that are needed to create glucose. You may be asking yourself, what is the purpose of the electron transport chain, and why doesn't the electron just go to NADPH right away and skip all of those other reactions? There is a reason for this. The plant wants the electron to give off energy slowly, in several steps. If the electron went straight to the NADPH, too much energy would be given off at once. It would look like this. Okay, maybe it wouldn't be that bad, but the cell would be harmed. Okay, so we have ATP and NADPH. We still need to make glucose. The plant is going to use something called the Calvin cycle to do this. The Calvin cycle is a series of chemical reactions that uses the carbon in carbon dioxide to create glucose. This is called carbon fixation since the carbon is being fixed into an organic compound. Creating this glucose takes a lot of energy, but we have plenty of ATP and NADPH from the last step to do this. Simply enough, carbon dioxide enters the Calvin cycle and glucose comes out. That's it. Glucose is made, so that's the end of photosynthesis. However, it is important to remember what happens in each step. Let's review. In the light reactions, water is used, 
oxygen is given off as a waste, and ATP and NADPH are produced. In the Calvin cycle, carbon dioxide is used. Glucose is produced. There you have it. I hope I cleared things up instead of making them more complicated. If you need any more help, just drop me an email. And remember, nobody expects... The Spanish Inquisition!